Hi there! This week I'm checking in with you to find out whether your website is safe from the prying eyes of potential hackers. So stay tuned and I'm going to do a little test with you to find out whether your site is vulnerable and if it is, I'll show you how to fix it. Hi, I'm Julie Waterhouse from Stress-Free Website Solutions and I want to check with you to find out whether your site is revealing too much to potential hackers. So by default, the server where all your files for your website are stored enables something called directory browsing. And what that means is that people can go and look inside all the folders that are on your server. And you don't want them to be able to do that because it's revealing too much about the contents of your website and allowing them to potentially exploit vulnerabilities. So what you want to do to test is to go to the following URL. You're going to substitute your website for mine. I would go to juliewaterhouse.com slash wp dash content slash uploads. If you're watching this on juliewaterhouse.com, that URL is just below this video. So you swap out juliewaterhouse.com for your domain name and go there and see what you see. If when you browse there, you find you get an error message, a 403 error, 403 error code, or something that says access denied or permission denied, that's good. That's exactly what you want because you don't want just anybody to be able to see the contents of your files. That would include your plugin files, your theme files, all the media that you upload to your media library. Those are the things we're trying to protect. So if you get access denied, you're all done. You're safe and I'll see you next time. If on the other hand, you do see a listing of your folders and their contents, we need to fix that. So I'm going to share my screen with you now and show you exactly what you need to do to do that. And what we're going to need to do is log into your host, okay, go on your server and find one specific file and add one line to it and that's going to make you uh, safe from this vulnerability. So here we go, let me share my screen. So I'm here in my browser now and I'm at the URL juliewaterhouse.com slash wp content slash uploads. And for the purposes of this demo only, I've turned off the security uh, to protect uh, against directory browsing. So I wanted to show you exactly what would happen. So when you come to this URL, you can actually see the contents of all the directories in my, my home directory, which is exactly what I don't want you to see. So now, let me show you how to fix it. I'm going to switch over now to another window. And now I'm in my, I've logged into my host. So I'll go up to the top here. I, my host is SiteGround. You might be hosted somewhere else. I'm in my cPanel. Most hosts have a cPanel interface, some don't. Um, what you're looking for is a way to edit the files on your server. So in cPanel, you want to scroll down and look for File Manager. Right? And click on File Manager. And then you want to make sure that this checkbox is checked to show hidden files. Because the file that we're going to edit is what they call a dot file called dot ht access. So check that. Make sure the document root is set to be the root for the website that you want to fix and then click go. And we'll open up a new window and this has all the folders and files that are on our server for our website in our home directory. The one we're looking for is this one here, it's called .htaccess. Now this is an important file for your website, so before you do anything, you want to go ahead and make a backup. To make a backup, with the file highlighted, go up and choose copy. And then copy file two, you're going to put slash dot ht access dash back or anything else, number two, just as long as you have a second copy of the file and then hit copy files. That way, if anything goes wrong, you have a version you can revert to that you know works. So here's our backup copy, here's our original. Now we're gonna go ahead and edit the original file. So highlight it and click edit and another window will open with the contents of the file. So this is like a text editor. Now, we just have to add one line, and I'm gonna put it right at the bottom. So scroll all the way to the bottom, put your cursor there, create a new line, and then I'm gonna put a comment. Comments start with the hash or number sign character, and I'm gonna say 
disable directory browsing because that's what we're going to do and then a new line and then all you need to say is options minus indexes and you can copy and paste this uh, from a line that I have below this video if you're watching it on juliewaterhouse.com and just copy and paste it into your file. That's all you need. So then I'm going to hit save and I can close the file and then I'm going to return to my window where you could see my directory listing. I'm going to refresh this and all of a sudden you get a 403 forbidden error and that's exactly what you want to see. Now someone else who comes along and tries to view this directory won't be able to. And that's what you want. So that's all there is to it. Uh, the only other thing I would do because you've been touching the HT access file is just go to the root of your website and just make sure everything is still working as you expect it. Okay? And if it does, you're good to go. That's all. All right, that's it. If you found this tip useful, please, I encourage you to share it with your friends and your colleagues. And if you're not watching this over on juliewaterhouse.com, hop on over and make sure you get signed up for my newsletter where I share tips and tricks like this and things that I only share with my subscribers. The quickest way to get on the list is to text WordPress to 1-855-969-5300. So that's it for this week and I'll see you next time.